Hello, this is Dr. David Oster, and this is a video of a patient that I treated with a knee fracture several years ago. This patient had an ACL reconstruction approximately two years prior to sustaining this knee fracture. This knee fracture was sustained when he was skiing and was treated by myself with surgical management. So these are the images of the patient and on the left hand side are CT images that show the fracture. The fracture was sustained in the lower bone of the knee and is outlined here with the arrow. The patient had a compression injury in which the upper bone pushed against the lower bone and caused a depression and a fracture of that area. On the right hand side is an MRI scan that shows the fracture in the multiple pieces and it shows that the ACL reconstruction is pointed to on the right hand side is still intact. So this patient sustained a comminuted tibial plateau fracture that was depressed and due to the amount of depression this would require surgical management. So this is one image of the CT scan and this image uh, outlines the fracture. This fracture has been depressed and there are several pieces that need to be reduced back into position. So one piece is this large piece that's been pushed down and the other piece on the left has been pushed out. So this lower piece needs to be reduced up and the split piece needs to be reduced towards the other piece. Once these pieces are reduced and there's a level articular surface, this is held in place with a plate that is applied to the outer aspect of the bone and then screws are placed through the plate. These screws help maintain the position and alignment of these fractured pieces and keep them from redepressing down. On the right hand side is an x-ray after surgery and the arrow points to the area where the fracture fragments were elevated and are now held in place. And as you can see, there is a smooth articular surface in that area, which is what surgery was trying to accomplish. Postoperatively, the patient was on crutches for eight weeks non-weight bearing. Afterwards, he was allowed to weight bear as tolerated. He is now two years from his surgical procedure and is involved in activities as tolerated. So that's a patient that sustained a tibial plateau fracture after he had previously undergone an ACL reconstruction. If you'd like to look at other text or video, please visit my website, www.davidostermd.com. For office visit or appointment, please call 303-214-4500.